welcome back to Los Vargas. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> Today, as you guys can see on the description of the video, we are doing the story of how we met. While we drive. While we drive. And the reason we have to do these type of videos is because most of the day we're either at the office or driving. And we're working, so. You wanna start off the story? Yeah. Why? Because. Okay. So yesterday we did our first live Facebook live. Yeah, there. I think it went pretty awesome. It went pretty cool. Thank you so, to see. all of you that subscribed and are watching this video. Also, if you're already subscribed, thank you very much for watching us yesterday. Uh, we actually made the live video and then we couldn't like close it. Yeah, up. we couldn't turn it off. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Yeah. Now I know why Les from Les Do Makeup siempre tiene el aire prendido because it got hot, like I was cold before it started, you know, medio frío, medio calor. Yeah. So yeah, well, next Wednesday we're going to do it again. We had said that we were going to do it just two Wednesdays, yeah. but since it's kind of fun, we'll just keep on doing it. We'll just keep on doing it. Yeah, it, it was pretty fun. Like, people that I haven't talked to in forever went on and said hi to us, which was pretty cool. Huh? No, say hi to you. They said hi to you well, too. Well, they specifically say hi, Marina. Hi, Bianca. <laughs> or hi, Nima. <laughs> Just because he got beat. <laughs> that was funny. But anyways, guys. This is how we met. This is how we I used to work at a daycare. And from... Babe! Be serious! They'll be listening to you. Oh my god. So I used to work at a daycare. Okay, tu casa moscas. I used to work at a daycare, and I used to work with a girl named Maria. And I used to own the daycare. So he thinks. <laughs> <laughs> and um, my friend invited me to go to see a concert there, Tribal, and La Original, right? Oh, La Royadora. She invited me to go, and I'm like, ah, I don't know, because at that time I was working full time, I was going to school full time, so I was always busy with work or busy at school. And on weekends I had to go to school on Saturdays as well, so casi ya no salía yo. And she's like, ándale, vamos. And I'm like, pues a ver. I told her, avísame ya cuando vayas, because she used to get out before me. Be like, let me know when you're leaving and see my Nemo, I'll give you my card and you can get the tickets for me. And she goes, okay, está bien. So I ended up saying yes. And I tell her, hey, um, <coughs> can I ride with you guys? Because I don't feel like driving. And she's like, well, we're going in um, Buddy's truck, but I don't see why not. And I'm like, okay. And then I told her, well, can you get the tickets for me and then go take them? They used to call me, but just they, all right? Yeah. Um, they, I asked her, can you take the ticket to me to school? So, pues, para no perderme la escuela, you know, she's like, yeah, I'll, I'll take it to you. And I'm like, okay, ya se secaron las cosas. <laughs> so, you know, okay, she texts me, you want to say anything? Well, about this, it's because they, he was my friend. I used to, uh, well, I used to sing. And that guy used to sing as well. So we used to get together and just like sing, right? Mm -hmm. So as hace mucho, they had asked me, hey, we should go to a concert. And I wasn't seeing anybody or I wasn't ordaining anybody. And they were married or at least they were together. So I'm like, well, by one of your friends, because I honestly didn't have any friends. I, I had stopped going out already and I was already like, yeah. yeah. So she had always said that, well, no, I'm going to invite my friends and I'm going to invite my friends. And it wasn't specifically just to like, like a, it wasn't like supposed to be like a date. Or it, a hookup. It was, it was, yeah, or a hookup. It was just for me not just to be there at the Maltercio, right? So this day, they didn't, they just said, let's go buy the tickets. So I'm like, well, let's go. And I asked her, are you going to invite anybody? And she's like, well, I don't know what my friend is going to say. 
So whenever we were going to Walmart, because we bought them Ticketmaster, but through Walmart, right? And then uh, when we were buying them, well, they ended up buying hers, and then we took her ticket to school, right? Yeah. We took the ticket to school. She saw my truck and she fell in love, guys. Like, <laughs> Whatever, no cierto. What is payaso? Oh, I thought that's the way it happened. No, it that's didn't. That's the way I remember it. You're crazy. So she so calls me and she's like, hey, aquí estoy afuera. And I'm like, okay, I voy. Ay, Lola, he's dijiste, ah, andas en esa troca negra bien chingón sota? No. Right? No. Oh. Your truck was not important in that scene. It was important. No, it wasn't. I was driving it. Well, I didn't know who the hell you were. You saw me and you're like, no, I couldn't even there. see you. Your windows were tinted. I know. <laughs> oh my God, he's so dramatic. Bueno, anyways. Me dejó los tickets and I was like, okay, pues I have to go back in now because I'm going to get in trouble. So I went back into the classroom and I thought, eh, well, I'll just see them tomorrow, right? Whatever. And then al ratito, Maria texts me again and she's like, hey, dice, um, buddy, que si quieres venir a tomar after, after school? And I'm like, well, I have class tomorrow. She said that? Yeah. I had class. I would go to school on Saturdays from 8 in the morning to 12 or 2. I don't remember. But I was like, I have to get up early tomorrow to come to um, school. And she's like, no, pues un ratito, andale. And I'm like, ah, uh, we'll see when I get out of school, a ver, que show. And then I got out of school and I was like, yeah, I'll just go have one beer. Yeah, that one beer he did not. It, was it wasn't one beer. <laughs> it wasn't one beer. She got over there. Like, honestly, in all honesty, and you know this. Yes. We didn't click right there. Uh -uh. El me cayó mal. Ya me está meneando los huevos. Look at us now. Yeah. It was uh. Was because <coughs> when she got there, there were some friends that played and we were singing, right? And then she got there and she like all oh, tried to go in and interrupt and like. I did not try to go in and interrupt. No, I'm fucking singing. You like. Shut up, you liar. Oh, you didn't. No. See, this is the reason we hadn't done this video before because she forgets. About oh, shit. I forget about yeah. shit. Who kissed who? You kissed See, me. See, there you go again. <laughs> okay. Anyways, continue with the story. But con la verdad, no con tus mentiras. Well, that's how we met. I wasn't interrupting. I wasn't even talking. I literally was sitting on the little fence that was there, waiting for Maria to come out. It must have been another girl that was in the same car then. I guess. Okay. You're such a liar. You're I such a liar. The hell did I interrupt? I didn't even talk to anybody. Neta que eres bien mentiroso. Okay. All right then. We never talked to each other. Well, we together. did talk, but it wasn't right then. Like. No, it actually. It was a it was a pretty cool night. I mean, those guys ended up leaving, so it was just us four. Huh? Yeah, it was just us four. It was just her, Emilio, Maria, and me. And uh, it was actually a pretty fun night. Huh? Yeah, I had fun. As a matter of fact, because we drank that night. Yeah. And then we finished what we had bought because they used to love drinking Bud Light. Well, I used to drink Bud Light, too, too. but it wasn't like my favorite. But it finished, and it was way after twelve. So we couldn't go buy anything anymore. But I had a big old Ramona at my house, huh? Yeah. So we went over there. Never had I ever let anybody drive my trucks. <laughs> Never. And she's the one that drove me to the house. Not because I was drunk. It was just because she's all like, well, can I drive your truck? I'm like, oh, well, I guess. <laughs> that she was going to go take me to the fucking desert or something. <laughs> no, but we went to the house. I picked up the bottle. And we ended up leaving like at three, huh? Yeah. Ended up leaving like at three. We took that bottle over there, <coughs> and I still have that bottle. Whenever I go, it's still there. Is it? Yeah, because we didn't finish it, and then from there on, like we we would drink like with our primo, well, my primo, and now our primo Alex, uh -huh. Kenya. We would always drink. We would drink, drink Bud Lights on. Huh? Yeah. So la botella, they just I ended up staying there and ended up staying there, and then, and then this other time that we were right there, this. Yo fuimos para Christmas. Yeah. Ay, como vuelas a vivir en Yo vuelvo a tortilla quemada. 
I opened the, the, the esta de arriba, se lo tengo papá. I opened este, ahí estaba. Oh. Junto con otra, cuando me puse una pedota con una botella. But yeah, guys, that's how we met. And then from there on, we just, we started seeing each other. Yeah. And then we started dating and then it got more serious and then we got together, yeah. married. Let me tell you how it became that we kind of hooked up, I guess. Cesar started with the little papelito. Uh, oh, yeah, it's true, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, ahora no te acuerdas? He had a little papelito, and I was wearing because this was in March. No, yeah, in March. I and, don't know. You don't even remember <laughs> the date anymore. It's March 24th. Okay. <laughs> and it's it, fucking hot over in New Mexico. No, but oh, it was cold. cold. Oh, okay. Era la noche que fresquea. Oh. I mean, it wasn't hot and it wasn't cold. It was just right, I guess I should say. Cold. Yes, señor. No. Out. Anyways, so he had a stupid papelito, and then he started putting it in like my hoodie, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" No, I was a change. I was changing a CD. How do you go from that to changing the CD? I was like sitting right there on that right there because we were putting music on my truck. Yes, I, really and I was changing a CD, and I saw Maria and Emilio entraron a hacer quién sabe qué chingados y no sé something to eat yeah. at three in the morning. <laughs> They were gonna go make something to eat, and then I was gonna change the CD. So she came over here, and grabbed a papelito, uh -huh. and it landed on her hoodie. So she took it out, and then she was trying to put it in behind my back. So let's say we ended up kissing mutually, both of us. Let's just leave it at that. I know it wasn't that, but let's just leave it at that. <laughs> but yeah, and then we ended up. Almost eight years later. We lived about a year in Las Cruces. Yeah, a year. We lived about a year in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and then we moved over to Denver. I I just couldn't stand the fact that they want to pay you like Peanuts. Minim minimum wage over there for hard work as hard as over here, you know. I learned how to do construction over there. I learned I've worked in call centers, I've worked in construction, I've worked in Schools. I've worked in hospitals. I've worked in a lot of places. I worked in stores. I, worked, I used to work at JC Penney. Mm -hmm. And um, just in Las Cruces, it's just. I know there's a lot of people over there. It's just that it's not well paid. It was either going to Midland and working in the oil, or coming to Denver and working in the oil. And that's that's pretty much where we came over. Yeah. But I mean, things worked out differently. I ended up working in a meat. As maintenance at the meat packing company. Yeah, I was at Renaissance Center for a long time. I had, I already knew how to like frame and drywall and all that. So my dad helped me start my company, and that's going to be just another story. But yeah, I I ended up we ended up I guess making it sort of okay here yeah. in Colorado. Honestly, like with all honesty, when we moved out here, it probably was one of the hardest things I had ever done in my life. Granted, I've always been really close to my family, um, like with all my tias and stuff. So coming over here, not having any family was really hard on me. Like I never told Cesar until like, I knew it though. Oh yeah. I knew that you weren't, you weren't coming over here. Yeah. It's not that you weren't comfortable, it's just that you were away from your family. But I guess some people or some couples don't understand that Whenever you get married, you have to make it as a couple and as a family. It's yeah. not staying back with your parents. I mean, if it works out that way, hey, great, right? But, I mean, I couldn't stay over in Las Cruces because, honestly, within Las Cruces, the most you're going to get paid is, like, $18, like, an hour. And that's true. That's after, like, a couple of years of working in a company. Meanwhile, you're going to have to suffer with bills. You're going to have to suffer with rent. If you're renting like, with that kind of salary, I'm pretty sure you're not going to own a home. So... It was really bad Like there was times That we didn't even have enough money To pay our rent, our rent space Which was $200 $200, $200. $200. <coughs> And um, you guys Or some of you might understand But a lot of you won't understand That I am so thankful That 
we made the moves we had to move because 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 of those moves we are where we are now or where we're at and I mean, I've never been dumb. I understand that I've never been dumb. I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I know my way around things. I know how to how to, how to learn on how to work things. And I mean, it's not that I'm trying to be stuck up, but I've helped this family out a lot. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people that are probably watch us and they're not gonna let me die. That I maybe not right now because business is already established it's already working it has its up and it up, ups and downs just like any other business but at the beginning I used to work and still have my business and she's not gonna let me lie I would go work during the day in the afternoon sometimes I would stay up until three or four in the morning and then have either to get doing up at, paperwork yeah. for my business or doing whatever for my business I would have to get up at five so I would only sleep like three or four hours maybe at the yeah. most and then all over all week all week I've been my mentality has always been that you have to work in order to make something out of your life I mean money doesn't come by just by itself yeah unless you win the lottery or unless you're really lucky and somebody wants to give you money but other than that that's that's the main reason we wanted to come over to Colorado yeah so we all came as a family all we brought was one suitcase with everybody's clothes in it lo que cabia we that's sold much all we had. yeah we sold our mobile home in, in Las Cruces and that's the condition she put for me she's all like if you can sell the mobile home in we'll, two weeks we'll because leave. it I, was Two weeks before uh, Nayla was going into kinder, two weeks before school started, I told them, if you can sell the house before she starts school, I'll leave. If not, I'm not going anywhere. And guess what happened? I put Fucking it for sale. Fucking household in three days. Yeah. Oh, I was like, ask days. <laughs> With that money, we came over here. Yeah. Venimos bien confiados. Like, with that money, we're going to give a down payment. We're going to get an apartment. Guys, it's the fucking most hardest thing that I've ever gone through. Like, seriously. No soy chiple con mis papás. Pero gracias a Dios nunca me han faltado las cosas. Yeah. Desde que he podido yo hacer lo que yo quiero para mí o, o el trabajo para mí, siempre he tenido dinero para mí, nunca he batallado. And ever since we got married, entramos en una racha bien culera. Huh? Sí, bien, it was like, we had to struggle for everything. Like, like that nothing that came easy. Like, yeah. not even by accident, nothing yeah. came easy. Everything was like super fucking hard. Yeah, cada ratito nos cortaban la luz ahí en las cruces. Telling you we couldn't even pay freaking um, the rent to the space because the mobile home we bought it. Guys, I I I almost got in a fight. Well, not a, like a, a fight, but I got into a sort of an argument with the landlord of the space. Yeah. For a hundred dollar deposit, guys. I know right now for a lot of you it's a lot, and that time a hundred dollars is like a hundred thousand dollars for me right now. Yeah. Those hundred dollars were the food for us for. I don't know how long, yeah. man. Like, it. I I think about it, and honestly, I get goosebumps because I was like, we were so broke. Yeah, we were. Like extremely broke. Not not even like, oh man, me quedan cuatrocientos dollars. No, it's like, man, we have fifty cents. Yeah. Like, fuck. Like, go get toilet paper from Seven yeah. Eleven. Like from Pickwick. Like seriously. That's like seriously, we and it's not going and buying a roll of toilet paper, it's going just and stealing napkins. the toilet paper, guys. Like fuck. Yeah, that's how we were. It was bad. But I guess tienes que batallar. Por eso aprecio mucho la gente que that's been around us since the beginning. Yeah. I guess we didn't have a lot of friends back then, except for Maria and, and, and Emilio. Emilio. Like B, I knew her like after. Was B, you would just know that she was my friend. Yeah, well, but then again, when we were struggling, it's because we, we went back to Colorado. I know this is a long video, guys, but bear with us. Yeah. So you guys can at least know us. But when we went back, okay, this is what happened, all right? We came to Colorado because I wanted to come to Colorado. I had a good, I had an okay job here. Yeah. Saturday. At the meat packing. Yeah. She had an okay job at Rena Center. But de repente se le metió una idea. She wanted to move back and she was gonna ask for an este para allá. Y said, okay. I said, well, if she followed me whenever I wanted to come to Colorado, well, fuck it, let's do it. So we packed our things. I put my two weeks in. She got her transfer to Renaissance Center in El Paso. We went over there, guys, and fuck again. It was like yeah. starting like. 
whenever we first moved in together, it was the like starting all over again. The only difference was that we had Miss Carlos. No, not that we had Miss Carlos. That I had a job, and my job me pagaban me pagaban por semana, and our rent was four hundred dollars to the little house that we lived in. But like we we're constantly fighting over money and that's the stupidest thing a couple can fight over it's money. the main thing that couples fight about yes yeah. and it could even cause a fucking divorce there's no way you can control that well yeah especially for somebody like me that i came back i mean i was already getting down close to 20 dollars an hour where i was working yeah i go back over there and i'm like well if they at least pay me 15 16 bucks an hour between our both of our salaries we'll make it I go to fucking Coca-Cola, and by the way, fuck you, Coca-Cola. I went, well, I applied, and they fucking offer $10 to start as maintenance. 10 fucking dollars to risk my fucking life welding for them and shit. $10. At this time, I didn't, I never crossed my mind, Midland, to go, como se fue, Doughboy. See. Never crossed my mind. Uh, I, where I learned how to, like, construction, I tried calling the guy once, he never answered. So, and, and I just started getting this, but I just, I tried starting my own landscaping company over there. And by the time we went back, when my dad was over there, everything was cool because there was a, a lot of competition. But when we went back, a lot of people from Juarez were jumping over and doing their, what the fuck did I do? It wasn't through here. By the time we went back, there was a lot of people crossing from Juarez and like, pretty much guys, they were just giving their work away. Yeah. So I started doing, cause I'm, I'm really good with graphic design. So I tried making business cards and all that. Yeah. That's querían regaladas. It's cause so the, it was, we, we just started going down again, yeah. like really, really fast. My truck payment was $700. Cause at that time I had a Ram. Your car payment was $400. Our rent was $400. She was getting $400 a week. And like, in all honesty, guys, I, maybe I look like a fucking crybaby or whatever. I, I wasn't gonna settle for something that, like, I, I just thought it was stupid. So I, I got the phone one day and I called. But wait, you're missing what happened also. A mí no me estaba yendo nada bien donde estaba trabajando en Renaissance. Like, literally, todos los días que yo iba al trabajo, if my manager did not yell at me or send me, have me sit in his office so he could yell at me a day, he didn't have a good day. Like, I was so done. And they kind of warned me about it when I did ask for the transfer. My manager that I had here, he told me, you might as well be careful because... Um, because you are getting transferred. What if the manager does thinks you're out to get his job or whatever, you know? So, yeah, I was like, I was the one that told Cesar, let's go back. I can't no more. Like, I couldn't do it anymore. So I called the guy that I, when whenever we first came over here, me and my dad started working to drive all over here. I called the guy and I asked him, hey, do you have any work? He's like, yeah, as soon as you get back. So we got our shit together. And the next week we were on our way already, huh? Yeah, I gave my two we went, weeks in. We, we went to Fort Morgan. We stayed with my parents. And that next Monday I was already working. I, I already, and that's when my company started up again. Thanks to this guy, I'm not gonna say his name because he did me wrong. Yeah. But thanks to him, I do. Well, thanks to my dad that I first registered it at the beginning because he's the one that put his last $464. Yeah. And thanks to this guy because He's the, one, he's the first one that started giving me work. I really appreciate that, but I don't appreciate the whole fact of him taking $70,000 from me. Yeah. But yeah, that was our story. That's our struggles that we've gone through. Obviously, we've all had a bunch of them. For those of you that made it all the way to the end, thank you very much. We got how we met, what we've been through yeah. out of the way. So thank you very much for watching. For those of you that didn't make it, well, I ain't gonna say anything because you guys are gonna hear it anyway. <laughs> thank you guys very much. Yes, thank I'm, you I'm very much. I'm running out of English. Let's talk a little bit. 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 Let's talk a little bit.
push notifications so you'll get notified every time we upload a video um i promise you guys that our all our videos are not going to be like this we just wanted to get this out of the way because we had a lot of questions yesterday yesterday on our live how we met what we uh, what we do yeah what we do so in this video we covered that so yeah give us a thumbs up if you liked it if you appreciate that we told a little a little part of our lives and we'll see you in a couple of days a couple of days <laughs> bye guys bye guys Thank you.